Hi, this, in this segment, I'm calling it, I hate polishing silver. So, it, I got the idea for this segment from a show I once did in Palm Beach. And anyway, it was a very high-end show. And there were booths of um, jewelry and of paintings. And I was the person with the silver. And person after person came by and said, oh, silver, I, I hate polishing silver. And um, it just, I never had been at a show where I heard it so often. And then a star came on. This woman came up and she had a really ugly expression on and she said to her husband, oh, silver, I hate polishing silver. And her husband looked at her and said, when in your life did you ever polish silver? You always have Maria polish the silver. And she looked a little confused and she said, you know, you're right. I never have polished silver. And so for the rest of us that do have to polish our silver, I've got a few suggestions. I think there's four ways to clean your silver. Number one, is the dishwasher. Now, a lot of people say this is heresy, but according to Reed and Barton, and my own experience, if you take your silver to the dishwasher, put it on the crystal setting, and on the top rack, it's fine to do normal silver. I don't recommend knives, especially old knives, because the heat can separate the knives, but the silver will get a nice earthy look to it. It won't be, you know, sparkly polished, but it'll look clean and it'll look nice. So one, one way to do it. Another one is number two, polishing cloth. It's for light polishing. Um, you just, Hagerty has a very good product. You just, you know, use it for light polishing. The next one is my favorite. Uh, this is Hagerty's Silversmith Spray. It really works well. Uh, again, it's a Hagerty's product. You can buy it at Macy's, at Dayton's. Um, anyway, you just spray this on the silver. Uh, you turn the pieces over. You spray the other side. It, the, um, it forms a little like dust on the silver. You just take a cloth and you wipe the dust off along with the tarnish. Works great. I can do an entire set in 20 minutes for the novice, maybe about a half an hour. It, it doesn't work for really badly tarnished silver. But for that, you have to go to polish. In Milwaukee here, we have a small company named Rolite. Consumer Reports rated it very high that it, it, it's a very good product. There's also other ones. Again, Hagerty's makes a nice polish. There's many on the market. Generally, a good rule of thumb is uh, if it's sold at a department store, it's probably a pretty good product. It won't harm your silver. If it's sold at the grocery store, it probably is too harsh. Maybe you pay a little bit more for the, the things at the department store, but there's a reason. You know, Consumer Reports said that some of the um, things like Twinkle, you know, they really do harm your silver. They take off seven times as much as like a good Hagerty product. Okay, so now you have your, your silver polished. But what comes next? Okay, to cut down on your polishing, the most important thing is to have a new flatware chest. Here's an example. Wallace makes a nice product. So does Reed and Barton. So this is one thing that actually has been improved. The, um, the new chests are airtight and tarnish resistant cloths. And so for me, I use silver probably on a monthly basis 
I polish once a year because of the airtight chest and tarnish resistancy. So anyway, have fun. Thank you.